Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2 the HD playthrough with the texture mod. Um, so we uh, we got a couple of upgrades, we recruited What's-His-Face, and we went back to the Citadel. So let's, uh, there might be another dialogue option that's opened up. Shepard, how can I help? Uh, once we, let's see. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the Collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying Collector tech now. Okay. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage. Overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan, too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here, work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. <sighs> Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. <laughs> oh, Morton. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to Perhaps talk? later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? Uh, I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Basically just say that uh, somebody's having sex with a Varen. <laughs> oh, that's, that's disgusting. So, I'm playing another episode today. I might actually upload two today. Um, and the reason is, is because it's either play this or go outside and shovel fucking snow. <laughs> so I'm going to play thoughts this. thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, command. Okay, that should disappear from this. Okay, perfect. So I'm more interested. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results-at-all-costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. Yeah, you look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. 
Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. Most of us didn't get a Cerberus rebuild. They outdid themselves with you. Ask for any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Okay. Pretty sure there's nothing else, Commander. but just to double check. I'm out. more interested in just... Already? Yeah. I'm not... Okay. Commander. So we cleared uh, this deck of all the talking. We probably have some new messages. Let's talk to Honey. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Yeah, baby. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Less much. <laughs> you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay, we've already done the line. I better crap. go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Uh, I think we need to click this one, yeah. Is there anything I should know? Nothing right. Anything else? Okay. Now? I'll be here if you need anything. I don't think we have any messages or else she would have told us. Yep, okay. So we will head down to the decks. Uh, quickly chat with these peeps and then we will head back and uh, get a mission. So let's go talk to Miranda, see what she's wearing. And we can turn in all these quests actually. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Okay, so ship enhancements. Oh, nice. We needed this. Um, the an androids? <laughs> okay. Proprietary Argus planet scan technology to integrate into the ship systems. This will greatly speed up the planet scanning uh, process. How lay effing Luya? Yes, we are so getting that shit. Commander, what can I do for you? Okay, we already done all that. Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? She cut her hand. My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. She's got some daddy issues. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. Maybe. I like to know where I fit you in. You are who you are, Miranda. That's easy. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. You've told I'm me a lot about your I father. I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. 
How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. <laughs> okay. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. All right, let's turn in these quests. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Mm. Ferris Fields. Didn't Hadley have a brother station? Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Uh. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Tentacle heads. <laughs> He's such a dick. Alright, we'll give her the brandy. I got your brandy, bitch. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Look at that face. Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now? For you yeah. and me. Let's get drunk, bitch. Just don't get naked. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. <laughs> we should get some good Paragon for that. Whoa. <laughs> I'm little drunk. Yes, little drunk. Um, <laughs> okay, while well, that's happening. So assignments, we've turned those in. Uh, Alright, so we can... You know what? Let's go get Archangel. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, actually, you know what? We have one more quest to turn in. It's the one in Engineering, and then we'll head to Archangel. I get sidetracked easily. Holy shiz. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice! Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. 
You're all right, Shepard. Uh, what can we do for you, Commander? Okay, I wasn't sure. Pretty sure Carry they on. didn't. Will do, Commander. Pretty sure they didn't have uh, upgrade options. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. Wait. Oh yeah, Zaid's in here. I don't know if he has upgrades though. He's <laughs> he's got the whole ship wired. <laughs> Thinking about past missions. Oh yeah, he doesn't. Got a minute? You might learn something. You know, I don't know. I wasn't really ever um, a fan of Zaid. I mean, once I kind of looked at all this crap and blah blah blah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I looked at that. The and then while he was talking, I would just do this Hell of a ship. and just watch the box. To bring that thing down from the Go out the with window. <laughs> That's like no the only way I could listen to him the we whole time. It. Everyone died. Bandit. My first impossible mission. Um, I'm sorry if you guys want to listen to him, but, <laughs> but so I don't. And he's still thing. talking. Wow, we were such an asshole and just walked off while he was talking. We're such dicks. And I say we because, you know, you guys are in this as well. Okay. Um, we were gonna. Oh, let's see. 100%. That's right. We were exploring these. You know what? Might as well do this. Gosh, I get sidetracked easily. I figure we're already here. Might as well get this damn crash site over with. Anything good? Just checking out the uh, new planet scanner. It looks like it. It looks like it works a lot faster. Like it scans and kind of. Oh, there was some ESO. There was some ESO there. Shit. There it is. It's hard to find this shit. Probe launched. Yeol. And there was something around here. Yep, right there. And there's a little Launching bit of Ezo as well. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you guys with this. So, 20%. No, uh... No anomaly. I'm pretty sure there's not an anomaly in this system, just because we uh, this is the crash site uh, system. But uh, we might as well kind of clear this place out. All right. I have detected an anomaly. And I don't know if you guys know this, but if you hold down. Uh, oh, that doesn't work. Son of a bitch. Never mind. <laughs> Jeez, there's a lot of crap on this planet. Launching probe. Iridium has got to be one of the hardest things to find. Oh, jeez, we need probes. Okay, we gotta save at least one probe. I think as long as you're in that little circle, you can get the... Yes. So, confirm the record of the SSB normally is fine. Surface, no life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located in the crash site. Let's land on this bitch. So, this, uh, basically just like a memorabilia, uh, mission. You just kind of have a couple of flashbacks of the good old days. Okay, um, so this is kind of a pain in the ass, uh, cause you gotta figure out where all this, where all these damn little things are, these little, uh, those. <laughs> Alright, 
So you get 10 experience for each one, so I haven't really found a good way to find them all except to just kind of go around in a circle and just try to remember where you've been. And try not to get confused whenever it does stuff like that because it kind of turns you around like I was not facing that direction. You know what? And just to get rid of that, we're going to place the monument right the hell here. Wait. Okay, so we got the monument there. Uh, I don't think... No, we can't go up there. And we should be able to climb up this. Yes. We should be able to climb up. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Jeez. This game, what the fuck? Every time you see something like that, blast it open and there is a dog tag inside. Um, okay, so we've kind of gone around that way, and we're going to just kind of kite the edge just to make sure that we get everything, because every, every little niche like this has one. See, it turned me around again. Oh, poor Ashley. Sometimes I wonder if that was the right decision to get rid of her. Five of twelve, gosh dang it. Oh. Alright, let's head down here. There's one there's one right uh, let's see, element zero. Fuck. Yep, every time I hit that instead of uh, space, I will be dropping an F bomb. And that uh, that doesn't go towards my f bomb quota that I have to hit every day, so don't uh, don't, don't worry. <laughs> I could probably melee it so I don't waste ammo, but I yeah. Once you start a mission, you get all right. We're gonna have to kind of get the middle. Um, oh, if you hit that, will it? Oh, I think that's just to tell you where the where the drop ship is, where the drop pod. So it's kind of lame. And I think there's one. Yeah, there's one in here, and there's one. Yeah, gosh, these things are so hard to find. One in here. Orgen, Orgen Laflamme? I did not see that guy's name. I think there's one down, yeah, there's one down here. Jeez, Shepard, you need to get in shape. She's out, she's like out of breath. <laughs> Hector Emerson, Emerson, there's one more right here. Sure, wow, these names are very odd. Uh, there's one right there, one right there. So I guess this isn't too bad. Um, how many more do we have? 12 out of 20? Oh gosh dang it. Um, dog tag there. Was there another one down that way? I think there's one right there so I'll have to go back. Look at that old school galaxy map. Ours looks a lot better. This is kind of neat. So I'm going to just skip through these because I know what they say. Um, this is basically Presley um, talking about how much uh, he doesn't like aliens and then he's kind of come 
and changes his tune and says, you know, hey, can't imagine that we would have done what we did without them. So, kind of neat. A little tribute to Presley. The old bastard. Uh, any other... Any other... Uh, I don't think there's one in here. Is there one down there? No, there's not. Is there one right there? Did we just get that? I think we did. Okay, so let's stay up here. Because I think they're... Fuck! <laughs> Shepard's out of breath. <gasps> In seven helmet! Foo yeah! I'm gonna wear that bitch with pride. Uh, there's another dog tag. Alright, at this point it gets really hard, because uh, I've gotten all kinds of turned around. Because I'm a dumbass, and I don't know how to keep my north north. Uh, was there one in that niche? No. Okay, how many, le how many more do we have left? out of 20. Hmm. This might be... This might suck. So we got four more, I think. Oh, there's one. Would not have seen that. Miranda Ramen. Ramen. Like ramen noodles? There's one more. And I bet the other ones are in the middle. Look at those old school graphics. Oh, these are so much better. Um, well, it's amazing how much of the cockpit's still uh, in one piece. Oh, there's one. Yes! Alright, we just got one more. Did we get that? I don't know if we got that. Is that it? Son of a bitch it is. And there is element zero. Where did I just see it? Son of a bitch. Was that it? I think that was it. I didn't even see it. Jeez. Shepard, you need a fucking exercise. Uh, did we get it? Uh, I think we got it. I swear we got it, right? Assignments, crash site, yeah, we got it. Yeah, I think we got it all. So, I think we just head back to the uh, little shuttle and get the hell out of here. That wasn't too bad. So we didn't get any credit credits, but uh, you know the ESO itself is uh, pretty nice, and obviously the experience is, is good. Uh, 200 experience, not too shabby. Um, and we just knocked out that assignment, that was just one of the downloadable contents. Um, so not too bad. Uh, let us circle back around and we are going to head to uh, Normandy. Yeah, we'll just hit these last. And you know what? Um, so I spoke to my friend about that uh, feel thing and told him he was full of shit. And he's like, no, dude, I didn't say that. I said that... Uh, oh, damn, I only have one probe. Effing A. Uh, let's not use the probe, because if we see a, an anomaly, then we'll need it. Uh, so anyway, I was talking to my friend and said, dude, what the shit? Uh, and he's like, oh no, dude, it, that's not what I said at all. It's, uh, if you run out of fuel in the middle of a star system, then you can use credits to get back. I'm like, that's not even close to what it's, what you said. 
<laughs> um, so, anyway, he's full of shit. Achievement unlocked. What did that say? Damn it, this shit was in my way. Okay, so it looks like this, uh, this system should be... Yep, this system's 100% explored, so... I do like how... Uh, here, I'll show you what he was talking about, which... It wasn't what he was talking about. Our fuel supply. I will yeah. Use FTL to get us to a fuel station. Yeah, which is a bunch of crap. You know, some people kind of hack. Well, not kind of. They hack and uh, get unlimited fuel. Uh, the burn time is a lot lower, so they can travel a lot longer with the same amount of fuel. I don't think I want to do that. Okay, so I think we're going to head to uh, the Archangel mission. We probably should have gone and upgraded uh, our stuff at uh, the uh, tech lab to make this game a lot easier. But I'm not all about making this game easier because um, I'm kind of a dumbass. Holy shit, I'm on one today. Wow, I really did not want a snow, uh, shovel. Screw that. I'm gonna pay some kid like five bucks an hour to do it. Okay, we want, uh, Morden. And, ooh, you know what? Uh, well, he's biotic. We need someone to take down shields. We actually really need someone to take down shields. I don't think he has anything. Let's see. Assault rifles, disruptor ammo, concussive shot. I think concussive shot works against shields. Um, overload def definitely does. So we're going to take Miranda and Morden just because uh, those two, those two together, um, made it really hard actually, uh, because everyone had shields and so you couldn't use anything. Okay, she's using the Carnifex. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. Knew he could do it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay, we've already activated that. We're going to go and make sure that we don't have any uh, store stuff to buy. We should have bought uh, most of the stuff that we needed. Door? No, we can't get in there yet. These dudes are just chilling. Uh, did we already activate our discount here? Okay, storm speed. I don't, okay, we don't want any of that crap. Uh, let's talk to Herod. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. <laughs> it's pride. My prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Uh, it didn't give us... excited. I have things to do. It didn't give us the option to, uh, lower day. the price. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Hmm. Reduces the delay. Doubles the time for how... Okay, yeah. We we don't need that, because we're pretty good at doing it. Um, let's see. This, i got to remember. So, reduces the delay before your shields start recharging uh, by 10%. Eh, meh. Increases headshot damage. That might be good. You know, I need to kind of peek at stuff and see what the best combination to do for my character. Because uh, I'm not exactly sure, and I don't want to waste a shit ton of money for nothing. I think there's a... Is there a store down there? I think we got everything from this store. If we did, we're going to head back uh, up. There's like nobody down here. You can just steal everything. Heavy weapon ammo. Okay, so we should be able to buy both of these. I'll take it. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that's kind of nice. We'll get a little bit of... Uh, extra damage. 
I don't know if either of my people... Man, that song is baller. So is that booty shaking. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. <laughs> uh-huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here, exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Sweet. Free Paragon. Okay, uh, I think we're probably going to end the video after this cinematic. Um, so I'm going to mute it so you guys can enjoy. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Okay, and again, I think we want to do Miranda just because she's got overload, and I think all these guys have shields. And just having these two guys, uh, he, yeah, he doesn't have anything to take down their shields. Um, so she, she has overload at least. So we're gonna take her and uh, Morden just for the conversation. about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds a bit like a suicide mission. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Getting in, simple enough. Getting out, problematic. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to call the video there just uh, for time purposes. And we'll uh, recruit uh, Archangel. Uh, on the next video. Thanks again for the likes and the subscribes. Uh, let me know if the, I need to shorten the vids or anything and uh, always appreciate uh, the comments. Thanks so much guys.